Hello crafty friends, it's Donna here and it's lovely to spend this time with you. I have a card to share with you today that uses one of my favourite techniques which is mixing watercolour with Copic coloured images to make a scene. The stamp set that I'm using for today's card is called O oh Nuts and it comes from Pink and Main. I'm starting out by working on the background panel. I've used VersaFine Onyx Black Ink to stamp this tree because that ink won't run with water on it. I really love the look of Peacock Feathers Distress Ink with autumn colours. Something about the bright blue green just makes the cards seem so much fun to me. And so I'm using that for my background, just dropping it in here and there. And then I'd like to say allowing it to spread, but in actual fact, I'm mucking as always. tree with a brown marker that I was given as part of a care kit when we were in quarantine and it's coming to the rescue even now. I've just put a little bit of heavy marker in a few places and then used water to spread it around. To make the ground, I'm scribbling a little bit of marker onto a block and putting a much more dilute colour down. I'm also using some parrot ink from Ulta New for the leaves and for the grasses. As a side note, I absolutely love what it's done down there on the ground and I'm going to see if I can replicate that effect for another card. The brown and green and peacock feathers is just gorgeous. The smaller images are all stamped in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because this won't smudge with my Copic markers. I've chosen some browns and a couple of oranges. In fact, I've chosen all my browns and all my oranges to colour these little critters and also the acorns. I'm also going to use a couple of coloured pencils to add some darker details and some dimension to them. I'll show you the colouring of one of the squirrels and also one of the nuts, just to give you the general idea of what I've done. I've cut the images out before I colour them because I am not the most reliable die cutter and I'm quite fussy about my images being central. So I find it causes me less tears to cut first and then colour. Although frankly, with the size of these acorns, I was rethinking my whole strategy. Once all the little itty bits are coloured, it's time to start constructing the card. I've cut down my watercolour panel and chosen a piece of patterned paper from the Pumpkin Season Paper Pad from Pink and Main. The fun sentiment comes from the same stamp set 
and I decided to use that as a part of my image and have all the acorns falling down and piling up on the sentiment as well as on the ground. I received a package of goodies recently from Pink and Main, which included their new Easy Tear double-sided tape, and so I've given that a little bit of a test run. I also used foam tape to pop up a few of the images. That's all for today's card. I hope you've enjoyed these little cuties, and I look forward to spending some time with you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see what's coming up next. And stay safe, everybody.